Well, the cat's out of the bag now. You've all pretty much figured out the truth. There never was any Charlie Veach. My name's Damien. Hello. Hi. You see it now. Do you see it now? So uh, for those of you who kind of cottoned on to this fact early on, well done. Your paranoia did indeed save you. But as I say, the cat's out of the bag now. Your reaction to my um, video doubting the conspiratorial view of 9-11 and let me, just, let me just rub a bit of salt in your wound. We all know, we all know that my family and the people above me, my paymasters, carried out this attack. <laughs> and as uh, the uh, Eichmann and uh, Goebbels, the propaganda masters of the Nazis, realized is that if you're going to tell a lie, if you're going to pull off an, an event, a spectacle, it has to be the most monstrous, the most evil, the biggest event. So, yeah, you're right, it wasn't enough for the planes to hit the towers, we had to bring them down. But, just to kind of clarify, it wasn't thermite, we used advanced uh, nanotechnology. We have uh, at the CIA and in the um, DARPA research facilities, we have technologies which can bring buildings down with very minimal explosions or minimal sound. For those people who think that I, Damien, um, got paid by the BBC to go to America on this road trip. I mean, money is of no interest to me. What interests me is fucking with your heads. Resistance will never stop. Human liberty will never stop. We're going to defeat these parasites. They don't deserve the earth. They don't deserve to control human destiny. I don't believe any of it. They've been proven liars over and over again. They call you a conspiracy theorist if you question liars. You know, I told Paul Watson about a year ago, I said, stay away from this particular activist. He's got psychopath, sociopath eyes, because they, they enjoy, they see you as prey, they think it's a big joke how they manipulate you. And, I, and I've learned to recognize them throughout life because I'm the opposite of these people. I've got all the rage, all the power, and more, but I've got love that's so much larger. So I can basically go into the other side, I can see them. And uh, Watson was like, I, Alex, you're always right in the past, but come on. Then he wanted to go to Bilderberg with this person, and I said, no way. I said, uh, they're an operative. They're going to turn against 9-11 truth, everything else. And Watson called me, and he said, I can't believe you're right again. How, how the hell do you know this stuff? Because I don't just say it about everybody, and then I'm right sometimes. I'm always with precision. It's, it, it's a gut instinct. Over the years, I have just haven't followed my instincts. Now I do, because they're never wrong. They're going to try to call us heretics. They're going to have people that march in and claim, I was a truther, but now I'm not. And they're going to do this over and over again because they're desperate, because their favorite tool of staging terror attacks then posing as saviors as a pretext to enslave the sheep isn't working anymore. The system is panicking. They know that you're aware of the fact they're a pack of liars. Congress has a 9% approval rating. It's the same thing with the parliament in England. Same thing going on in the continent of Europe, same thing in Eastern Europe, Asia, the Middle East. The establishment knows that there's a global awakening that President Brzezinski told the Council on Foreign Relations about last year. For the first time in history, humanity is awake and staring at the puppet masters, not their puppets, George W. Bush, Barack Obama, Gordon Brown, Herman Von Rumpy, Barroso, Merkel, the rest of it. It's game on.